Sunswift 7. This unusual electric car was not created by a giant company, but by ordinary students. Meet Sunswift 7, a solar-powered race car designed and built by engineering students from the University of New South Wales. With a weight of just 1,100 pounds, it's about a quarter of the weight of a Tesla. Sunswift 7 has a battery pack and solar panels mounted on the roof and hood. They allow the car to travel 620 miles on a single charge in less than 12 hours, reaching an average speed of 53 miles per hour. To achieve this low weight, the students gave up various elements such as airbags and air conditioning. Sounds like a pretty controversial move. Sunswift 7 broke the Guinness World Record as the fastest electric car to travel 620 miles on a single charge. The car's energy consumption during the record run was only 3.8 kilowatt hours per 62 miles, which is a significant improvement over the most efficient electric cars, which consume 15 kilowatt hours per 62 miles. To break the record, Sunswift 7 drove 240 laps on a dedicated track, the equivalent of the distance from Sydney to Melbourne, which is 540 miles. The car only stopped for a change of driver every few hours, plus one tire change due to a puncture and minor repairs. Despite encountering problems during the run, the team managed to fix them in 14 minutes and 52 seconds, as the competition rules banned the Sunswift 7 from being stationary for more than 15 minutes. CT1 the following car is the embodiment of many manufacturers' dream to make a compact urban car as convenient as possible. It's something more than a tiny box on wheels. The Israeli company City Transformer decided to make the car partially foldable. The CT1, which is now available for pre-order, has a very useful function. It can extend and retract its wheels, expanding and narrowing the car's chassis. When unfolded, it's 4.6 feet wide and reaches a top speed of 56 miles per hour. To switch it to the folded mode, the driver just needs to press a button. This reduces the width of the CT1 down to 3 feet. At 8 feet long, it's virtually the easiest vehicle to park. It can even be parked in motorcycle parking spaces. As for acceleration, this electric car can go up to 31 miles per hour in 5 seconds with a maximum range of 111 miles. The car is lightweight at only 990 pounds, and it complies with the safety standards for quadricycles in the European Union, which are less stringent than those for regular cars. BMW iVision D Although this car is a futuristic concept, it's already been presented at CES 2023. The BMW iVision D is an electric car designed to create an emotional connection between the driver and the car. This is achieved through digitalization, which creates an intelligent assistant for dialogue and access to car functions. The assistant has a voice that can be heard even outside the car. Moreover, it's capable of showing emotions. The car's headlights and closed grille form a single surface where the assistant projects its emotions. The BMW iVision D also displays the driver's avatar on the side window, with sensors detecting the approach person and automatically opening the doors to greet him. The developers believe that through this interaction, a natural emotional connection is established between the person and the car. Another interesting feature built into this model is the mixed reality slider. It's the central control tool which transforms the windshield into an interactive digital head-up display. Touch sensors located on the front panel allow the driver to set four different stages of displayed digital content. This way, the car can project important driving information, communication system content, augmented reality elements, and a full-on virtual world. The car body color can change according to the driver's preferences with the help of electronic ink technology. Carver 1 Carver 1 is a three-wheeled vehicle that combines the speed of a motorcycle with the safety and stability of a car. It was developed by the Dutch company Carver Engineering and first introduced in 2007. In most countries, this vehicle is classified as a motorcycle, but it has a fully enclosed cabin. The design of the vehicle incorporates a single front wheel and a body that tilts 45 degrees with the help of a hydraulic cylinder. The car is equipped with a Diatsu turbocharged engine, which drives the rear wheels through a five-speed manual gearbox. At the front, the steering is done using a single motorcycle tire. Inside, there's a removable roof and two racing seats, one 
behind the other. Carver 1 is capable of accelerating to 62 miles per hour in 8 seconds and has a top speed of 115 miles per hour. Of course, this unique design comes at a price, so one of the main drawbacks of this transport is the high cost, which is on par with the cost of some sports cars. For example, the Lotus Elise costs about the same amount. If you're not a fan of tiny cars, it might be a good time to become one. Take a look at Southeast Queensland, Australia, for example, where people suffer from huge number of cars. It's hard to park them in residential areas, plus drivers have trouble driving on the roads because of cars parked around them. Carver 1, like other vehicles of this class, can save people a lot of trouble. Punklander This impressive SUV looks like a modified version of the Batmobile. Nevertheless, it was the handiwork of a regular bunch of car enthusiasts, and it cannot be denied that bringing such a car to life was a difficult and costly undertaking. The parts alone cost $20,000. The designers used Nissan Maxima as a base for creation of this SUV. The model was chosen because of the suitable engine volume and power, plus it acted as a donor for the body and gearbox. In addition to the design, major changes included a reinforced frame and a connected rear axle. It's interesting to note that the Punklander consumes only four four gallons of fuel per 62 miles despite its size and off-road capabilities. The vehicle boasts 200 horsepower of engine power. Wheelcraft What could be better than fishing? Probably only fishing with comfort, the following vehicle is a perfect solution for fishermen and hunters who are not going to give up their hobby even in the cold season. Wheelcraft is a blend of an ATV and a Mars rover that floats, keeps you warm, and reaches speeds of up to 19 miles an hour. Wheelcraft makes it easy to navigate on land and water. Perhaps it would move around Mars too if there was the right atmosphere. Retractable wheels make it easy to climb onto the ice. Raising and lowering are performed by 12-volt actuators front and rear, each rated for low temperatures, and an onboard battery supplies power when the engine is off. Special holes are provided in the starboard side of the vehicle, which can be used to drill holes in the ice for winter fishing. After that, one can open the folding tent and fish in warmth and safe from the wind. The vehicle weighs about a quarter of a ton, and the engine features 26 horsepower. The Wheelcraft is equipped with a two-speed gearbox with a locking differential, and a ground clearance of 11 inches helps to overcome obstacles with ease. Cars on Tracks Matrax never ceases to amaze with their unusual combinations. Take a look at this smart car, which has been turned into a snowmobile. The modification is quite simple and involves replacing the car's tires with tracks, resulting in a compact and maneuverable vehicle that can move through the snow. In other words, that's a smart snowmobile. As you can see from the test, the tracks provide excellent traction and stability, allowing the vehicle to traverse slides and uneven surfaces with minimal effort. Nissan decided to go a step further and created Ultima T, a project car designed specifically for the Canadian market. The car is designed on the Nissan Altima and continues the company's custom of creating aggressive models equipped with a powerful track system. The most prominent change is to the front and rear fenders, which were flared out by 7 inches on each side to accommodate the track system. This way, the overall width of the body has been increased by 14 inches. To make the Altima T fully functional, it was necessary to increase the height of the vehicle by 3 inches. In total, the project took 250 hours to complete. Nevertheless, car enthusiasts are keeping up with the manufacturers. Check out how one car mechanic decided to convert a smart car in a similar way. Only aside from tracks, he also added skis to his car. DMV The next invention is both a bus and a train at the same time. That's why the engineers from the Land of the Rising Sun decided to call it a DMV, that is, a dual-mode vehicle. The DMV looks like a minibus and drives on the road on ordinary rubber tires. However, when necessary, steel wheels descend from the bottom of the car to the rail track, converting the vehicle into a train car. There's also a train-like axle at the rear, but the rear wheels remain on the ground. 
According to the manufacturer, the vehicle can carry up to 21 passengers and travel at 37 miles per hour on railroad tracks and on public roads it can reach speeds of up to 62 miles per hour. This invention can help solve transportation problems in many regions of the world. After all, when cities develop, old railway lines are often abandoned. In this way, they can be used again. Powered by diesel, the vehicles will run along the coast of Shukoku Island in southern Japan, connecting several small towns. Actually, the Top Gear team also came up with such an idea. However, they decided to make things easier and simply replace the wheels of the Audi car and trailers to create a full-fledged train. Yes, Audi is the locomotive, trailers is cars. Why not? Ventomobile Recently, eco-friendly cars have become increasingly more popular all over the world. Here's another super eco-friendly car, the Ventomobile, a racing vehicle powered solely by the wind. The car weighs less than 286 pounds and has four wheels and a wind turbine which propels it forward. The invention also comes equipped or can be equipped with a battery to store energy. Though it may seem that the car runs like a sailboat, it's actually quite the opposite. It gains maximum speed when driving against the wind. The point is that the turbine transmits electric energy to the motor inside the body. So this design has nothing in common with sailboats that we're accustomed to. That said, the student team from the University of Stuttgart in Germany, which developed this vehicle, describes their invention as a good way to have fun at the weekend. They regularly arrange speed races in these cars. Hironiku Land yachts are also powered by the wind, but they work in a different way. These seemingly fragile structures with three wheels and a single sail can nevertheless reach enormous speed. The modern land yacht Horonoku has been designed to make history and break the world speed record in its category. Emirates Team New Zealand designed and built it at their facility on the North Shore, Auckland. Steering the yacht is very simple but requires considerable experience with handling wind currents. In general, controlling the yacht comes down to interaction with the lever, pedal, pumps, and small steering adjustments. The current wind-powered land speed world record is 126.1 miles per hour. To break that record, Hironiku had to exceed that speed by at least one mile per hour for three seconds, and that's just one of the criteria. The chosen location for the test was the Salt Lake Gardner. On December 12, 2022, the team waited for perfect weather conditions and good wind, and Hironiku reached a speed of 138 miles per hour. Amphibi This vehicle, invented in France, is an amphibious vehicle which is just as good in the water as on land. The all-aluminum car is equipped with a small engine capable of accelerating up to 55 miles per hour. With a weight of 990 pounds and all-wheel drive, this SUV has excellent off-road capability on land. However, in just a few seconds, it can drive into the sea or lake and sail a little way out into the depths, where the propeller will push the vehicle through the water at 7 miles per hour. There is storage space under the seats to keep your stuff dry. Torricelli Vacuum Brake This is not exactly a car, only a part of it, though a really exciting one. For the developers of this braking system, safety was a real concern. Just check out the original Torricelli Brake Principle. It utilizes vacuum to suck onto the road and stop the car as quickly as possible. When activated, the brakes create a suction force of 3,000 pounds. This is very different from a traditional braking system, which typically just presses against a spinning disc, slowing the car down. The company claims that this unique system can reduce braking distances by 40% at about 43 miles per hour, which would be more than enough in an urban driving environment. Such braking can really help those who didn't have time to hit the brake pedal and could even save someone's life. However, the prototype has some drawbacks. First, it's necessary to refine the car's safety system System, as it's not designed with the enormous power of the vacuum braking system in mind, this in turn can harm the driver. Second, it's unclear what will happen if the brakes are activated on uneven surfaces or roads littered with small stones. iRoad 
Another impressive Japanese invention is the hybrid of a car and a motorcycle from Toyota. It's worth noting that the iRoad isn't exactly a car, but an amusing electric three-wheeler concept, which according to the car maker, will one day be used to move around the cities. It combines the advantages of a motorcycle, maneuverability and efficiency, with the good bits of a car, familiar handling and stability. On top of everything else, the iRoad is also practical. Less than three feet and only seven and a half feet long, the hybrid looks like someone cut out the middle of a smart car and welded the outer parts together. Its top speed is 37 miles per hour, which is plenty to match the speed of conventional cars on city streets. You'd hardly want to drive the iRoad outside the city because the 37-mile range won't let you do that anyway. Despite this, such a range is quite enough for travel within the city. The vehicle takes about three hours to charge, although Toyota doesn't say anything about battery capacity. Made of carbon fiber reinforced plastic, the concept vehicle weighs about 600 pounds. Thank you.